Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Meet the People tonight. We're very excited. Now, we have a special guest. The other guests we actually uh, interview a little bit, and, we, and I've met them and that kind of thing. But we thought it would be fun to take someone out of the audience, which we have done. So this guest is a total surprise guest. I have no idea what's going to happen. No one does. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for our very special guest, Lily. Lily. Say hi. Wait, everybody, Lily. <laughs> is this weird? Super. Yeah. <laughs> What did you do last night? Oh my God, you'll never believe it. <laughs> do you want to know? No. <laughs> Dude, I, I do. I kind of do. Yeah, yeah. What did you do last night? Uh, well, uh, I have an interesting job. So okay. I work in the ER. I'm a nurse. Oh, you are? So I'm dating a nurse. Are you? Yeah, she's hot. Good luck. I know. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I'd like to. What's, a, what's your most fun, maybe uh, horrific story? Um. Well, I got to see a chest cracked open once. Yeah. Yeah. Does the word got to fit in that sentence? The, uh... Oh, I was really excited about it. Like... Did the patient live? Uh... No. No, yeah. No. You're, you're cracking open a chest. You're probably talking one in 20 or something. No, no they're pretty much, no. Yeah. Yeah. That's, the last, that's the last exactly. chance. That's like, yeah. let's just crack it open and see what happens. Is no, what it was like? more like we kind of knew it wasn't going to go anywhere. So. Oh. So you but... just did it for fun then? Yeah. Well... <laughs> I mean, that's what I would do. That's why I got to do it. <laughs> that's why she said the word got. That's why, did you not hear the word got, the first sentence? Come on. That's why I become an ER nurse, isn't it? Right, right, right. Now, now they always live on the TV shows. I remember, uh, you know, what? Like, yeah, that's you know, TV. Right? They crack up they the chest and, they, and they massage the heart and they, and they live. Like, they freeze for a little bit and they, like, warm up again, like, on Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. yeah. That? Is that not true? No. That never happened. I haven't seen it. It's you possible. Haven't. It could happen. It's in like the in, future. Maybe. It, but as of now, it's not a thing. I, it's never happened to me. Okay, so you're in the ER yeah. at night, day, what? Uh, I actually get both. So I start both? at 11.30 in the morning and I leave at midnight. Did you say you start at 11.30 in the morning and leave at midnight? Oh, yeah, we're 12 hour shifts. That's 12 and a half. You know that, right? Yes, but. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who can eat after cracking a chest open, though? Lots of us, actually. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Hey, but you, you only got 30 it. minutes in 12 hours. <laughs> I don't care what's cracking open and spewing on me. I got lunch, right? <laughs> I really, I got a sandwich that I am dying to get and to. We'll talk about it, <laughs> but yeah, so you guys sit around and talk about chess cracking open, and then mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when you were young, is that what you wanted to do? I still am young. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> You get to be my age, it's hard to tell how old people are. <laughs> Wait, I can't see. What are you right. to say? <laughs> I don't have. You where's can't win this. Uh, no, I, okay. Are you well? Are you young enough to start a new career? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because because you're in the nursing, so you know people are living longer. Oh yeah. By the time you're 80, people are living to 140, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're good. You could have three yeah. more careers. I could. <laughs> so now what are you gonna do? You're gonna be a nurse, and you're being a nurse. And then you're going to continue to be a nurse? Do you plan to move up in the nursing? Uh, the options are open. I you can, can just what's do the, anything. Uh, what's the funniest thing everybody's ever, quote, quote, sat on that had to be removed? Oh. Uh, you, you ever talk to ER nurses? They always got a, like oh, a yeah. light bulb story. I actually know. Rich, you know yeah. The yeah. gerbil, right? Yeah, I, mean, I know, you know they, always have a so. they always have a story of something that had to be removed. Always, oh, right? Yeah. See, she already knows. She's trying to think. She can't even think of which one. That's exactly right. Yeah. There's what, so many. What's the shaving cream? There's so many. The light bulb? Shaving cream. Uh, I just heard. I, yeah. <laughs> Darren. <laughs> no one else has heard of the shaving cream. I, I'm hoping to find somebody else who would. Who's also heard to. of the shaving cream? <laughs> just keeps throwing it out at parties. I've been looking. Yeah, for you know, shaving cream up the thing. You know, you know what I mean, right? You know, right? Shaving cream. The... You've heard of that? That's a thing, right? Is that what we're talking about here? Yeah. It's a thing, it's a thing now. How many people have tried this? Is what I want to know. Somebody save Darren. <laughs> So I haven't heard about the shaving cream. No. But... <laughs> and she's the professional. <laughs> it could happen. It could I happen. Mean... She's not ruling it out, Darren. No, she's not right. And Darren's not ruling it out either. The physics, the physics are... In yeah. fact, Darren knows it works. <laughs> In fact, you're going to be seeing more shaving cream. Hey, you know what? Maybe the reason you're not seeing them is because it doesn't go bad. 
Huh? Oh. Maybe the shaving cream thing is a success every time. <laughs> it's, it's a natural. Maybe we should invest in shaving cream. I, I Marvin. <laughs> Gonna get some cans of shaving cream, about 500 of them, right? We'll fly out to New York, <laughs> shove it up that rat's ass, right? <laughs> it is a natural lubricant. I'm it is saying. a natural lubricant. So You're done talking, by the way. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> so the weirdest thing I've seen uh -huh. is this part of someone's glasses in yeah. the mail. And there's always a story, yeah. the accident. It was always an accident, right? Not, <laughs> not for this one, actually. <laughs> so he just he told just the like, truth. It, yeah, and he, he was very proud of himself, and he wanted everyone <laughs> to know. And there was x-rays to prove it. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please meet Lily. Lily. Very nice to meet you. Go ahead and Lily, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, next, I believe, we actually have a word from our sponsor. How often does your job call you out of bed in the middle of the night? Well, if you were a doctor, it would be often. And generally, there isn't much time to spare. Coffee, doctor? Oh, fine. Have a camel with your coffee. Thanks. You know, this night work's kind of rough, isn't it? That's right. But a camel's always a pleasure. Yes, folks, the pleasing mildness of a camel is just as enjoyable to a doctor as it is to you or me. In a nationwide survey, doctors in all branches of medicine were asked, what cigarette do you smoke, doctor? The brand named most was camels. Tens of thousands of doctors, general practitioners, surgeons, specialists, doctors in every branch of medicine were included. And according to this nationwide survey, more doctors smoke camels than any other cigarette. Try camels yourself, the cigarette so many doctors enjoy. Welcome back to Meet the People tonight. Um...